That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get our audience absolutely lost in the world of our stories. And uh, so this, these ideas that you have to have a 50 millimeter lens, you have to have the camera at the height of the eye, of the character, you have to have this, that, and the other. So, you know, I think you can forget about that. I think what we have to do is to go beyond that, and we have to try and get people connected. That's what a point of view is. It's a subjective shot. It's what this character sees. And um, I suddenly realized that people, that he wanted, a, he had a rule about what we should see or what we should show or what certain things are. And um, it came as an amazing shock to me uh, because, of course, there are, there are not rules, but there are guidelines about uh, film language. But that's all I think they are. They're really guidelines. They're things that have worked over the 100 years or so of cinema, generally speaking. But you can break them. It's fine to break them as long as you know what you're doing. Certainly in the version that was published in England, this sequence up to this point is pages and pages of dialogue. Just non-stop chatter between people. And uh, the scene in the elevator doesn't even exist in the screenplay. And all that dialogue has just been jettisoned. And uh, new solutions found, new ideas have come up. The point is that's the, that's the process of making film. That's what we go through. We don't, we, you know, we, you've all made films of one sort or another. And we've always made cuts, we make changes. But it's an organic process. And that's what's so exciting about filmmaking that is constantly changing. And they came along, the story asked the question, is it possible for a marriage to survive without sex between two people of this age? Two people who clearly love each other, but is it possible? If one of them is completely unable to have sex, will that marriage survive? 